I think also, you know, with this idea of space, right? Because everybody kind of, sort of tries to understand the concept that we we're we're presenting about space. And I think if we think it in like both like a broader sense, like space that happens could happen anywhere, right? Or but also think about space in like specific uh, location, right? So linked to location, you could say, you know, let's have an activity that reimagine this space to support you and make your, your well-being. But also how can we think about um, spaces that already exist where we can then use um, these cars to transform it into a space that supports your mental health well-being. Right, so there are many ways and you can approach it, I think, right, with the use of cars. It could be that it's like a little space, I think. It could be a virtual space. You can say, okay, let's imagine a place that will be best for you with no limitations, right? Or let's imagine how we could do some things with this existing space that you're familiar with um, and then begin to transform it. Yeah, so we, we're using the, this metaphor of the kitchen, right? It's a metaphor in which we're all creating these recipes and we have all these ingredients um, and we can follow a recipe we, that it has already been written, right? Uh, and we're just gonna follow it to, maybe we can learn the basics of, of uh, creating some very complex or simple dish. Uh, but then you can get creative as more, you know, with more experience, and then you can create new recipes. You can uh, change a recipe that is already there based on on your local flavor. So, is there anything else that you think would be good for people to know about, like how you got here? what you learned, this is a huge question, um, and how you're moving forward that's bringing these, because what's really exciting is, or one thing that's really exciting is the way you've brought these two projects together, is taking what you learned from the first one, bringing it to the second one where you're already in three months learning an amazing amount. But is there anything else you'd like, you think people should know or look out for as you move forward um, in this work? So one of the biggest findings we had from the first project was um, people weren't sure exactly where the flexibility was as far as running a, a program. So they weren't sure, like, can I change this piece or does this piece need to stay? Uh, what What is really the, the pieces that are flexible so that I can adjust for, for uh, the opportunities at my, uh, at my library, right? And so, by creating this, uh, leaning again into this recipe metaphor, um, figuring out what are the staples and, and what are the things that um, really are or should be part of each program, and then clearly identifying these are all your variable pieces. So if you want to try this co-design strategy instead of the one that we did, then that's uh, uh, totally up to you. The resources there and, and all of the information on how to do it is there, how to, how to run that co-design strategy, that activity. Um, but being very explicit about where people can adjust programs to better fit their library spaces or, or their organizational spaces um, is, is something that I didn't really think would be challenging uh, when we first went into the first um, project, but it was very clear that, uh, you know, people want a set of structure, but they also want to add their own flavor to what they're doing. And so uh, by being more clear about which options you have for, you know, substitution or, or changes, I think that'll really help people elevate their recipes to, um, to their local flavor. 